Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and sorry about my voice. I don't know what happened. Today I will be introducing a pan those face palettes. So yeah, I will have a total of three face palettes in this project and yeah. My updates will be on the 9th of each month. Um, and yeah, let's just jump right into it. So these are my three face palettes. It's two Revolution ones and one Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Let's start with the blushes. So this is the Revolution blush palette in the shade Hot Spice. So, my goal with this one is to hit pan in all of the eight blushes and I also want to finish off three of them. So, my goal will be to finish off this one, this one and that one. These three I want to finish and the rest of them I want to hit a pan. Now, these blushes aren't that big. It's only 1.625 grams or 0.057 ounces. So not big one compared to a, let's see, an Ofra blush that's 10 grams in this one. A Wet n Wild one is 5.85 grams. So these ones, and I have used up one of these before, within a year. So three of these should be fine to finish up. So yeah, that's the blushes. Now, my onto bronzers. This is the Revolution Iconic Lights and Contour Pro palette. These are 1.6 grams each, so a little less in these ones than in these ones. I don't know why, because it's the same palette type. But yeah, in this one I want to hit pan in everything and I want to finish off, like when I say everything, I want to hit pan in all eight shades even though the top row is not bronzers and I want to finish off two of them and I think the two I'm gonna be focusing on is these two in the middle yeah I have finished off a few bronzers before and those were quite much bigger than these ones so I think finish off these two will go quite fast and yeah, so we will see how this one goes. Now, the last one is the highlighters, of course. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero palette. This one has only six pans, but they are bigger, I think. Let's see where does it say yes 4.5 grams each so this is big pants of highlighters now the closest thing I have been to finishing off a highlighter is an H&M one which is 8 grams and also the Wet n Wild highlighter, which will be this one, and this is 5.4 grams. So yeah, I'm hoping I can finish up one of these within a year and hit pan in everything else. Now these two are quite deep for me, so I will probably use these as an eyeshadow. 
this one I might get some use out of in the summertime. Um, yeah, I might get some use out of this one in the summertime, but this one is way too deep for me, no matter what, but it's a lovely shade, so I wouldn't mind using it as an eyeshadow. But I think my best bet of finishing up one of them will be either Kitty Cat, this top pink shade, or Forever Young, this middle shade right here. These are usually my go-to type of shades. Now Daydream is more of a peachy shade, so this one will be nice in the summertime. And Forever Lit is a white with blue in it. So this will be nice as an inner corner highlight. And that might be how I will use this shade. So yeah, Glow Getter I will get use out of in the summer. And 143 I will use as an eyeshadow. So, I have some other rules or goals or with these palettes. And that is that I have to use, use each three palettes 15 times in a month. Or which will total up to a 180 days, which will be half of the year. Now, if I don't use, let's say, one of them 15 times during a month, I will have to pick it up for next time. So I will actually tally up how many times during a month I use all of these ones. Now, do I think 15 times a month will get me to finish up three of these, two of this, and one in this one? I don't know, but that's what we will see. If I use them more, that's fine. Um, I will be tallying up for each month. If I use them <coughs> all month, then the next month I don't have to, and so on. So yeah, I use makeup at least five times a week. Now, I only have work um, out February, so we will see how my makeup routine will go from March 1st but I think since I have this project and all of my eyeshadow projects and all of the other projects I think it will keep me in place with my makeup usage and yeah so this is how my book looks like blushes bronzer and highlighter i will for each month um write up how many pants i've hit how many i have finished what my weight is and on the back i will keep a post-it that says how many times i have used it and I will also have a spreadsheet on my computer because I love my spreadsheets. So yeah, that's my Pandos face palettes. I hope you enjoyed and remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!